Welcome to another episode of The Art Patient. Thank you for joining me. And in this episode, I'll be talking about why taking it easy when you've had an art related problem is the worst thing you can do. Now, I know that goes against the grain. Um, and I'm going to explain why. Okay? New subscribers, thank you. We're going to learn something here that's really interesting. This research is kept hidden from people. It's covered up. I found it, I used it, and it's a godsend. There's a comedian on the TV called Bob Mortimer. Him and his part TV series called Go Fishing. One guy, Bob Mortimer, my age, 60, had, um, had open heart surgery and been told by his doctor to take it easy and go fishing. That's the worst thing you can ever do. Why? Because, because the heart is more than a pump, guys, um, and it's so valuable. And if you don't think it's, if you, you know, you don't want to be under the illusion the art's a pump and a piece of plumbing. It's a lot more than that, so. Um, because of it, the heart cells go into hibernation. They hibernate and await the result of collateral circulation. Now, collateral circulation is the ability of the art to regrow arteries around itself. So it's a self it's a self-repairing system. It wants to repair itself. The heart cells don't die, they go, they go into hibernation, they hibernate, awaiting over the next seven months. You to do something about it, to influence collateral circulation. So, the first seven months of leaving hospital is the golden period. You shouldn't be taking it easy. You should be influencing collateral circulation. And the best way to influence collateral circulation and regrow your arterioles around the heart and bring the hibernating cells back online is cycling. Cycling. Then you can regrow the arteries and restore the heart to its full capabilities. If the art was just a pump, pumping blood, it wouldn't have these capabilities and built-in mechanisms like hibernation and collateral circulation. If it was just a pump, that wouldn't be, you know, that wouldn't be happening. So when you leave hospital, ideally, you should be looking to bring the cells out of hibernation into collateral circulation and influence blood supply and re-establish the heart as an electromagnetic frequency oscillator which I've talked about many times which is sending EMF pulses through you not only the pulse you hear, the distinctive noise of the heart not only that but the EMF field, the pulse you cannot see with your eyes, which emits DNA. Consequently, you bring it back online, that's what's so important. Like I say, guys, best way to do that, cycling without a doubt, you get a massive flow of oxygen. That's the ultimate way to do collateral circulation. 
So all these people leaving hospital and being given a diagnosis where they accept, believe and surrender to it and a life full of pills, you know, a life full of drugs, take these or else, never get themselves out of sympathetic nervous system. The very reason that put them in there, one of the causes of in the sympathetic nervous system, autonomic nervous system is made up of three systems that coexist that are directly linked to your heart. Parasympathetic, which is rest and relax. Sympathetic, fight or flight, and GI tract, gastrointestinal tract, which Qigong establishes. So when you establish this, you'll re-establish heart dominance and you're linking it to the other oscillator and the other oscillator. Instead of coming out of hospital and being told to take it easily, you never ever find out that still, after all that surgery, still the sympathetic nervous system is turned on in the background. It's, it's baffling, isn't it? It's baffling. Anyway, thank you for joining me. And look out for more videos. Thank you very much.